Well, it looked like Florida State had an early bedtime the other day. A, uh, a school record, 17 tackles for loss by Wake Forest. And uh, now undefeated Miami is paying a visit to Florida State. And it looks like Mark Rick is ready to turn the tables on this in-state rivalry. A game postponed by Hurricane Irma. And yeah, by <laughs> Jimbo was a little upset the other day. Florida State barely avoiding an 0-3 start. Their first in 76. James Blackman sacked five times, still got the go ahead score in the final minute. And uh, the Canes, though, remaining undefeated Friday night after holding Duke to just six points, fewer since 09. Malik Rozier coming into form, three total touchdowns. State bragging rights on the line Saturday. It's one of the great rivalries in college football. And you have and the thing about it, you have great respect for Miami. Listen, they're, they're a great team. They do everything. I mean, it, this game is always a physical, hard fought. And it's one of the things I always loved about watching it. When I, when I wasn't part of this, I mean, you saw the intensity. And I think you'll see the same thing. You want your legacy of how you play against them to be very good, just like they want their legacy to be good against Florida State. This is a league game, and that means a lot, you know, from the get-go. But uh, we all know that it's a rival game. I mean, there's a reason why we play them every year. It's a rivalry. Rivalry games are important, and they're better ri rivalries when there's some winning and losing on both sides. And uh, that hasn't happened lately. Very comfortable smile on the face of Mark happy. Rick these days, right? <laughs> Real happy. Yeah, sports lines got him by nine. Uh, again, we were amazed that Florida State was even able to get that win. The, 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 the go-ahead pass by Blackman went for more yards than he had entering the fourth quarter. Uh, feels like the tables are about to turn here. I think they already have, and I think coming into the season, that's something we kind of already thought that Miami was going to be resurging a little bit. We didn't expect DeAndre Francois to get knocked out and kind of change the whole complexion of Florida State season. Here's the deal. For the last three years, this game has been close within five points, and Florida State has won that, and that's been when they've had a significant advantage in terms of personnel and makeup on their team. That has flipped. I think Miami wins this one easily. Yeah, uh, these opposing defensive lines have not been salubrious with that offensive line of Florida State. That was just asinine, that play that O-line a week ago. They're going to get this kid, James Blackman, annihilated. I, mean, I don't think he's going to last the season. They continue to allow him to be hit like this. What I like about Miami's front seven, and I think they get after Florida State, those guys, they don't have to bring the blitz to get after the quarterback. That front four alone, it's Joseph Jackson. He's about 6'5", uh, you know, 250, 260. He may be the second coming of uh, Calais Campbell. Uh, they can get after this offensive line. They can cover Cover up for that the problems they have on the back end because they don't have to bring the blitz. So I like Miami in this one. Yeah, everything points, and, and you're all taking Miami. Everything points to Miami, sort of easy in this game. We well, say easy. It's at Florida State. Yep. They've won seven straight. Mm -hmm. They're definitely gonna. To me, they're sort of the wounded dog in this in this hunt. I'm gonna go with Florida State. I think Florida State's gonna find a way to win to pull to 500. To pull the two and two. Huh. You got I, one of your secrets I on think, there? I think Florida State has <laughs> got a lot of pride. There's no question. Good. And James Blackwin will only get better as he gets more reps mm -hmm. and more, more experience. But what I saw the other day by Wake Forest was, I mean, it was eye-opening. They are getting surrounded. You saw that tantrum thrown by uh, Jimbo uh, there on well the sideline. There's going to be a lot of that because Miami looks the part. And we haven't mentioned Mark Walton. Yep. And we haven't mentioned Amon Richards. Well, you're here to back. mention those. Guys. Those two guys are big time players on the offensive side to go along with the quarterback Malik Rozier, who's d I, oh, I've been on the, on the sideline before. <laughs> no question about it. We don't need to roll a tape to tell you about it. But uh, the bottom line is, I don't. I don't think Miami can get beat here unless they do it themselves. Right. And, and to your point, there's there are playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. They've got three receivers with at least ten rece receptions and at least hundred yards, but only one of them has a touchdown. That's Auden Tate. Uh, so uh, they, can they get the ball? Will the quarterback have time to get the ball to the play to the playmakers? I don't believe they can. Yeah, maybe the Florida State DBs will get their hands on the ball and well, make rain. They're going to have to. A uh, solo winner to. on that one.